What's up guys, it's Eden. I have recently powered up my MacBook Pro 2012 and it's freaking awesome. Check this out. Let's get right into it. As I've mentioned earlier, I have here my pretty old MacBook Pro. It's a mid-2012. It's kind of 7 years old, so it's really old. I already upgraded SRAM to 8GB, and I usually use this for my graphic design jobs. Or digital art, or video editing stuff like this video right here. But I am really frustrated about its speed. Again, it's old, so what do I expect? And we all know that buying the MacBook Pro with a touch bar is really, really expensive. And I'm really on a tight budget right now. I asked my big bro on what is the best thing to do since he was the one who first gave me my MacBook Air. In which I am very much grateful. He said, just upgrade your hard drive into an SSD. And so I did some research so I would know what the exact thing to do and look for the things I needed for the upgrade. Here is the list that I got for this upgrade. I will leave a link below in case you guys want to check it out. I am here to show you what improvement this upgrade has to offer. And in order to do that, we are going to do a comparison from my old hard drive to my new SSD. Let's start with my old hard drive. First is the boot up. On my old hard drive, as you can see, it took 10 seconds before I can input my password and another 5 minutes or more to load up the desktop. Not to mention that I need to wait a minute or two or maybe more before I can open up my application. Now let's try my favorite application, Photoshop CC 2018. This one took only 30 seconds. This is actually not bad. This time. Let's try Adobe Premiere. Now on my old hard drive, this took only 2 minutes and 40 seconds to load up. After that, I can open any files or create a new file. Now that's a bit longer than the Photoshop, but it is expected. This time, let's try and render a 30 second video using Premiere Pro. I'll just use my short intro as a test and let the rendering begin. Surprisingly, this one took 1 minute and 50 seconds only. Now let's move on to the SSD to see the difference of the read and write speed from my old hard drive. The boot up took only 1 minute and 12 seconds with the applications ready. That's insane, right? For opening Photoshop, I only waited 17 seconds. That's twice as fast on my old hard drive. Now, for Adobe Premiere, it took only 36 seconds. The final test. I'm gonna be using the same clip that I used before, and let's see how fast this one is. This one took only 46 seconds. Wow! With more than a minute difference. Now the last thing that I want to show you guys is a disk speed test using the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test app. And so the read and write speed for my old hard drive is kind of the same. But with my SSD, this really is a step up when it comes to read and writing files. So to those of you who owns an old MacBook Pro from 2011 to 2013, and you're really frustrated about the speed of read and write of your old hard drive, this is a better way to speed up your MacBook. This will improve your workflow, especially when you're editing videos and photos using Photoshop and all other applications. This is definitely a worthy upgrade. So that's it guys, I will definitely recommend this upgrade if you already own an old MacBook or if you're planning to buy an old MacBook. Or if you're on a tight budget, this upgrade is definitely for you. But do not expect that the performance will match the newer version of the MacBook Pro line, because it won't. However, it feels much more faster and more usable. It's kind of like a brand new MacBook Pro 2012, but at least for me, 
I've been using my MacBook Pro for five months now. I even edited the whole video, this video, yes, using my MacBook Pro on Adobe Premiere Pro. And I couldn't be more happier that I'm able to use it to its full potential. I hope this video helps you guys. If you've got any more questions, just leave a comment below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and tap the bell there so you get notified whenever I upload it a new video. This is the Art of Sir Eden Tech Version. Together, let's explore, learn, create, and share. See you in my next video, guys. Peace out.